Up to this point, our trip had been a captivating trip of history and scenic beauty. Well, we were about to add another element to the list, adventure. As much as I have enjoyed the trip so far, I was especially excited about the next part. We were about to take a trip to Chantry Island. What is so adventuresome about that, you are wondering? Well, we were going to do it by kayak. Tim Thorne from Thorncrest Outfitters is one of the premier outfitters in southern Ontario and has been a fantastic help to us over the years. This time would be no different. Tim supplied the kayaks for this trip and even brought along a two-person kayak for Danny and his camera and Tim's assistant, Nick. We headed from the mainland at Southampton to travel around Chantry Island. I say around the island because you can't go on the island without a guide approved by the province due to the fact that the island is also a bird sanctuary. We would ride out with a guide later in the trip. I was so lost in wonder of being in a kayak on Lake Huron that I was headed away by myself. I was brought back to reality when I heard Chris calling. Here's our host. Come on, host! I caught up and continued our journey. The further from shore we got, the choppier it became, but for Lake Huron, this was really calm. Just too many storms and just broke it right down? Big storms. Not uncommon in the, uh, in the winter or late fall to have the waves rolling clear over top of the island. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be some wild water then, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Must have been rough being the keeper out there when you get a storm in like that. Wow. Um, <laughs> if you can imagine the whole lifestyle out there, you know, to be this person, very solitude person, it's out there by yourself, very little interaction with other people, um, and yet on that lookout 24 hours a day. Chris told me to keep a watchful eye out because there are over 50 known shipwrecks that surround Chantry Island and its Imperial Tower. This is quite a testament to the rocky shoals and deadly storms that make this area one of the most treacherous in the Great Lakes. Looking deceptively harmless, Chantry Island lies just over a mile southwest of the mouth of the Saugeen River at Southampton. It stands guard, however, over a ragged underwater shoals and rocks extending a mile north and a mile south of the island a deadly trap for unknowing sailors. <laughs> 